Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to an update video on my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Got plenty to talk about as Total War Tiller is approaching. First of all, thank you for your support. We are nearing 900 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. I, I can't thank you enough. It's been great. The channel's really growing. It's really going places. And um, we've got lots and lots of great stuff prepared in the near future. Uh, I have a Q&A video which went up yesterday, and in the Q&A, Plenty of questions have come in already on that video. Basically, what I will be doing is uploading a well, my answers to that Q&A in the near future, which will be on the 20th of March, because that marks the two-year anniversary that my channel started. But the main purpose of this video is to not rehash what I mentioned in those videos, but to actually talk about something brand new, which I recently discovered. And basically what it is, I've been doing some live streams, as you know, over the past few months. Not many, but a few of them on the PlayStation 4 Twitch service. And it was going very well. We had some fun. A couple of you guys from YouTube have joined joined with me and watched some of my streams and followed me, which is great. But I always felt like I was missing out on the full kind of Twitch experience because I was unable to do the whole webcam thing. And, and you know, it's, it's much better and much more accessible on PC. Well, anyway... I was testing around with some things and Rex saw, you know, he started his own, um, which well, recently started doing his own proper live streaming on Twitch, which is fantastic. And you should definitely go and check out his streams and check him out as well. because He's fantastic and he's an awesome dude. But the point of this that I'm trying to make, you know, without going over myself too much in this video, is that I thought, well, I had fiber optic installed um, a few months ago. I know I can live stream off the PlayStation. I should probably try and do it on the PC. So I finally gave in to the advice from Welsh Gaming, who's been commenting on quite a lot of my videos um, to do with OBS. Downloaded OBS, sorted it out, watched a couple of tutorials online, and I finally worked out how to operate OBS. OBS, for those of you that are unaware, is the open broadcast software. You can download load it for free off the internet if you want to do live streaming. And basically what that entails is that I can... I can live stream. So what I did last night was I set it up. I did have a few teething troubles, but I was able to live stream Life is Strange, the very first episode. Now, unfortunately, I kind of missed the first 15 to 20 minutes of the stream because I was playing about too much. But I did stream for well over an hour. It went well. I went back and watched it on on the uh, on the computer on the on Twitch highlights. It came out perfectly. The sound was good. I, well, it started off a bit poorly, but I sorted the sound out and it worked fine afterwards. Um, I actually got the webcam in the top corner and it's absolutely fantastic. The one problem I did have though was I, ha I kept having to alt tab out of the game to check your comments because I don't didn't have a second monitor. I've since worked this out because I tried it on my laptop and the laptop that I got, no, no word of a lie, it's shit. Okay, it's an Acer Aspire laptop. I had it for about five or six years. And it's on the way out, okay? It's not working properly. I can't get on the internet properly. It's just it's just crap. It makes this funny noise when I turn it on. However, what I've done is I'm using a VGA cable. Now, I usually use a HDMI cable, but I'm using a VGA cable for my main monitor on the PC to my PC. And I'm also using a HDMI cable then from my PC to my television. And as you can see, if I just bring the camera over slightly, whoop, without falling, without dropping things on the floor, I'm just going to try and bring this over. Ta-da! As you can see here, I'm going to bring myself over here so you guys can see me. Hello there. Hello. 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 <laughs> As you can see, I've got my Twitch channel on my big screen here, which means I don't have to alt-tab out all of the time, and I can actually just go onto Twitch and show you guys what I'm doing. I've redesigned the channel a little bit, so now you can see I've got my current YouTube logo as my Twitch logo rather than my old Dragonheart logo. Got a nice welcome page now, a nice splash page when you go on there. I've got I've redesigned my um, logos on the right hand side. So I've got YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Steam. Let's uh, bring this down. An FAQ, a donate, and a rule. So I've got a nice little thing going there. Um, if you go into my actual channel, then you can see I actually have when it loads up. There we go. Got an offline screen now as well. Nice little offline screen with my YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and email. If you want to. You know, contact me, social links and stuff. And it's fantastic. I've even got a nice little overlay, which I'm going to bring into my future streams, which I can show you guys. It's a nice overlay. It's got the Dragonheart thing at the top, and then it's got a nice little camera box that I can put my face cam in when I do some live streaming. So, basically, the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to bring the camera back now so you can see me properly. 
I think it was about today, wasn't it? Get my camera in a good position for you guys. Basically, the point of this video is if you want to watch some live streams, then by all means, hit that uh, follow button on Twitch. A link to my Twitch is in the description below if you don't know where to find it. I do want to do some live streaming. Now, with Total War Attila approaching, I'm going to be doing a legendary campaign for the Western Roman Empire. That's been decided by you guys. You guys voted. We got about 100 votes and a good 25, 26, 27 percent of the votes has gone for that. That's fine. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. I do have two co-op campaigns planned. One is with Kassam 187. It's the Franks and the Saxons and I have another co-op planned then with Lord Rexasaur which is going to be the Visigoths and the Ostrogoths. However, I'm going to bring another single player campaign into the fold. I'm most probably going to go with the second highest voted faction, which is currently the Geats, which are the one of the Viking factions, one of the Viking forefather factions. And that faction and that campaign will be purely a live streaming campaign. So it won't be on YouTube, but it will be highlighted in parts on my, uh, my Twitch channel. So if you want to watch a Geats legendary campaign on twitch and by all means go on my twitch channel follow me on there and you can see a fantastic well hopefully hopefully a fantastic campaign and it'll be great because now i've got the monitor set up i can reply to you guys there's something i've always wanted to do i've always wanted to do a total war campaign where i can actually see the comments and i, I, I put it this way okay when you're doing a youtube video you're recording you, you might have a 20 to 30 minute part and basically it's just you talking in your room in your bedroom and it's like, what do you guys think? But you can't actually tell me in real time because, you know, you're not going to see this video for another few hours. But at least with that, it's like 30 seconds delay. So it's like, what do you guys think? Shall I attack the Franks or shall I defend uh, Lupferdum or something like that? And then I can just look at the chat and you guys can go, I think you should, you know, and I can just take your feedback and it'll be such a, such a great uh, interactive campaign. So... That's the big announcement of this video, and that's why I'm making this video today. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really, really looking forward to this. I can't wait. I'm actually excited for Total War Tiller. Um, I didn't think I would be. Bear with me a sec. Ah, that's better. I didn't think it would be. I would be this excited. Rome 2 left a bad taste in my mouth, if I'm being totally honest. And Rexasaur can tell you about this, because I've told him about it so many times on Skype how disappointed I was with the release. And even though it's a much better game now, it still took the best part of a year to sort out. I think Creative Assembly have learned from this mistake. I think Attila is going to be a pretty solid entry into the Total War franchise. They've got lots of cool features that have been added. Um, they've brought back stuff like the family tree. And I think overall it's going to be a good, enjoyable experience. And hopefully I can do as many videos and as many streams as I possibly can. So there we go, guys. Um, I've been Dragonheart the Prince of Wales. If you want to connect with me, check out all my links in the description below. I have my email. If you want to, if you want some thumbnails, check out my email. Twitch, uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. This is YouTube. Hello. Hello, YouTube. How are you doing? <laughs> um, what else have I got? Steam. i got a Steam group. And, you know, just check it out. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be fantastic if you could. And, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. So, I hope you've enjoyed. I have been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.